So in Licorice Pizza, you've got uh, Sean Penn cast as Jack Holden, but it's very clearly representative of William Holden. Why William Holden? Well, no, the question is, how, how could it not be William Holden? He stands as the great actor to me, especially when I was a kid. You have to understand that Network, I, I saw when I was six years old. SOB was only a few short years behind you saw it. Network when you were six? I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those. I'm not sure that I understood it entirely, yeah. but I knew that it was good. Right. Um, I, I would came back to it many years later, only to understand what I had really seen. But William Holden always stood out to me between the way that his face was and, and his gravity and his voice. That was a movie star. And I've, I've learned later as sort of researching him, he, he had a preoccupation with facial hair. He always needed to be clean shaven and well groomed. And you see it, and it fits. No, I didn't. I didn't know that about him. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not, I do not mean to suggest that he was vain in any way. He no, was no, just, no, yeah. He yeah. was. Um, that was what being a man was. That was what being a, a man who was a movie star was. And he reminded you a bit uh, of your father. Yes, completely. Very similar look. A very similar um, way with with alcohol. Very similar way with cigarettes, you know, they, they were very, um, they're cut from a, a similar cloth. Are there other stars that like you could see incorporating into any of your films as we move forward in your career? You know, what flashes into my mind, actors, actors that pop into my mind that I have love affairs with, like William Holden, James Mason, Margaret Sullivan, Irene Dunn, Peter Ustinov. I'm just sort of like letting my mind open up here, but when you ask yourself, like, who are the ones that got away, you think, that I, you know, I missed my, my calling, my era.